It's like a war zone here. This poor old Vespa buried in the rubble. She would have been loved once upon a time. <sighs> We're just going for a bit of a walk today. It's about half an hour to a park. And uh, yeah, well, I mean, we could get a rickshaw. We could get a rickshaw, no problems, but we prefer to walk. This is how they deliver gas bottles all throughout the town. Yep, they are full gas bottles, what, 50 kilos each? So it's really interesting for us just walking around the streets, you know? It's nice. Good times. And I'm keeping my eyes out for a barber today because I want to get this beard all uh, trimmed up. Get my hair cut. Getting a bit scruffy. Feel a bit old and mangy. I'm sure we're bound to find one at some point today. The butcher shop here on the left and sells chicken. And there's the live chickens. Nice and fresh. Deep fried snacks. Like they do samosas and chips and potato cakes and different things that are boiling away. It's all pretty yummy. Yeah, cross your legs like your mum taught you. We've got some stonemasons cutting concrete. Don't know exactly what for. A little convenience store across the road, which there's lots of them. That's all packets of chips hanging down. All different flavoured potato chips. On the top of the cars when they're parked, they put these nail plates. And that's because you get doggos jumping up there and sleeping on top of the cars overnight. I'll get a photo of that later for you. There's the offending doggos. And would you like to buy some red onions? This guy sells garlic too, by the sack full. And on the side of the road, there's all these stalls. This one's got your cauliflower, spring onions, chilies, tomatoes, orange carrots. Oh, they're red. Yum. Oh, then we go into another little food store. The guy's rolling out papadams or something there. I'm not exactly sure what he's rolling out, but he'll be deep frying it. Oh, yeah, they're papadams. These big crispy things here. Oh, sweet shop. These are all the Indian sweets that you can buy. I've tried several, but not all of them by any means. So, like I said before, India can be pretty interesting just walking around. And it would be easy to get a rickshaw. Well, not that easy because you have to haggle and negotiate and worry about getting ripped off. But generally walking around is really good for us. Robbie and I enjoy the, the exercise. And uh, yeah, seeing all the interesting things. I don't know what this one is. Um, sticks to make brooms with maybe? Yeah, kits. So it looked like they have the broom handles and the brush handles. Ready to go. Oh, here's another one. It must be Broomstick Corner. Yeah, these are the brooms that they make. You can see the sticks there in the background and then the brush down below. They must be like wholesalers selling the parts. People make their own with wire. It's a little chemist, that one. It's quite a few little uh, chemist dispensaries, which is pretty handy because I'm powered by ibuprofen at the moment. Got a bit of a sore shoulder. But yeah, you can get all the medicine you want, really cheap. Uh, 15 ibuprofens is 20 rupees, so 40 cents. And we're just going through an archway, which means we're in an old part of the city now. The streets are really narrow and less cars. You still get the motorbikes coming through there. Heaps of bright shops, tinselly stuff. I'm not sure why. Hello. Clothing shops. Hello. Namaste. Namaste. ladies in beautiful saris. So we walked about half an hour and then um, following Google Maps and then when we got there the building wasn't there that we thought was going to be there so Google Maps wasn't correct. So we jumped in a rickshaw, 150 rupees and we're heading out to a garden now, Mandore Garden. Not really sure what's there but we just wanted something nice to do for the day so what we're doing. So we ended up at this nice nice park. It costs 50 rupees to get in. Oh, that was for the two of us, so that's 50 cents each, basically. And yeah, they've got these temples that have been here for uh, about 600 years. And each of them has got a name plaque on them of a Maharaja. And the name plaque says basically their name and the date they were born and the date they took their last breath, which is an interesting one, isn't it? Interesting term. It's a nice place. Robin's in there getting a million photos. 
I'm just walking along, checking it out. There she is, wandering around, checking her photos out. Not a happy monkey growling at people. It's a langur. Sir? Yeah, yeah. So we walk around the park for half an hour and then we just stop for a chai. This is a 10 rupee chai, the size of it, 20 cents. And I spoke before about the cars having spikes on their roof so the dogs wouldn't sit up on there. Because, look at this car. Look what they've done to the roof. Oh, and there's one in the distance hopping up on the roof just to, to show me. So in my videos, it all makes sense. Look at the roof of the car, it's fully caved in. Oh, you're a naughty boy. 